Now, a new entry on the NewsHour bookshelf. Jeffrey Brown caught up with the National Book Award fiction finalist Leila Lalami at the Miami Book Festival. Her latest work of fiction, The Other Americans, explores issues of immigration and identity, part of our ongoing arts and culture series, Canvas. Leila Lalami, nice to talk to you. Thank you for having me. I don't usually start this way, but looking at the title itself, The Other Americans, what does that mean? What did you mean by that phrase? Well, the book starts off with the death in a hit and run of a Moroccan immigrant mm -hmm. and basically is told from the perspective of nine different characters who, while they are all tied to this man in one way or another, also have the shared experience of feeling as though they are on the outside, either because they are immigrants, whether they are documented or undocumented or naturalized or have moved from one part of this country to another. So, for mm -hmm. example, the detective who's investigating the hit and run has moved from Washington, D.C. to this small desert town where the action takes place. Mm -hmm. And so all of the characters really share this experience of feeling as though they are um, other in some sense. And that's what tied the book together. I think that's why I picked the title. But it begins as a kind of murder mystery at yeah. its heart. You have that style of writing, a kind of whodunit. Yeah. But grafted onto that are much bigger themes. I started working on this book in 2014. And my dad had gotten really sick. And I had to travel to Morocco. to, f And I really thought that he was near death. And mm -hmm. fortunately, he recovered. And he's fine now. But that experience really uh, brought home for me some of the longer-term um, consequences of immigrating to this country more than 25 years ago. And I thought I might start the book really exploring that and exploring the grief of loss, which was the thing that scared me. And in order to do that, I thought that framing it as a mystery might mm -hmm. keep me interested and keep me going in terms of writing the story and, and having sort of a propulsive energy to the narrative. In what ways does fiction work or... or or perhaps not work sometimes to explore big issues like this? I think it works really well to explore these issues. I think one of the problems in writing about issues like this in nonfiction is that it's impossible to do it without taking sides. In fiction, when you write about uh, themes such as exclusion or racism or um, uh, discrimination. There is the possibility of showing different perspectives, and each per perspective retains its own um, integrity in a way. So when the wife is recounting this event, it's a story of grief. When the detective is talking about it, it's a crime story. Yeah. When the daughter is uh, talking about it, it's also a story of loss and missed opportunities. So it's just a different way of looking at story. And I really do believe that fiction allows the possibility to tell the truth in a way that nonfiction doesn't, because nonfiction is more interested in facts. Mm -hmm. And I think that there is a difference between facts and truth. Mm -hmm. The main protagonist, the, the man who is killed, mm -hmm. and he gets to tell part of his story, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. He really talks openly about the American dream, and his mm -hmm. daughter talks about mm -hmm. him seeing Mm -hmm. is living the American dream. So you are really exploring that. You're taking this head on. He's an interesting character because he had not intended on immigrating to the United States. He was a graduate student in philosophy, of all things, mm -hmm. and got involved in Morocco, in, in Morocco says, yeah. and got involved in different political events that caused him to want to leave. Um, and he went from being somebody who's very much, I would say, I mean, he had like Marxist tendencies to when he arrived in the US, mm -hmm. starting a business and embracing fully the idea of the American dream. And of course, the irony is that on the very first page of the book, when you open the book, he, he dies in this very mysterious hit and run, and we're not clear on what reasons there are behind it. How much of this comes from your own background, your own experience as an immigrant yourself? In my case, I became an immigrant because I met an American, and we fell in love, and, and we got married. And before I knew it, I was an immigrant and then later a citizen. And I've really spent a lot of time really reflecting on this experience and how it has changed my life. And I realized that this is something that ties me to more than 40 million people in this country, to a great number of people in this country. And each of them has a very 
different life experience, a different reason for why they're immigrating. And in the book, I tried to explore two or three of these experiences. Most of the book is the, is the work of the imagination, but the nugget of what really got me started into it and the inspiration came from just the experience of being an immigrant. And how much of it is tied to the politics of our time? Because I know you have, you also write columns and essays I and do. you address these issues. Yeah in that way too. Yeah, so to me this is really a book that's more general about the experience of immigration in America and I sort of leave my own political opinions about the here and the now to other work. So I'm, I have actually a book of nonfiction coming out next year in which I talk a bit more about the experience of immigration from a nonfiction perspective. Mm -hmm. so. But in the novel you chose to do something different. Yeah, I mean in the novel it's more about the private experience of immigration, speak a foreign language, which is what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. um, and especially when you first arrive in the country and you mispronounce something and somebody laughs or um, you don't quite know, you know, the culture or some of the, the, the jokes that people are laughing about. And so this experience of being on the outside is an experience that I've had in my life, not mm -hmm. just because I'm an immigrant, but also, for example, um, after I finished my PhD, I worked in tech, and oftentimes I was the only woman in the room. Mm. So it's just like this experience of being on the outside is one that I have spent a lot of time thinking about. And, and I, think, I think most of my fiction really is about the act of crossing borders and the implications that it has. Did you feel that you had to wrap it up or tie it up in some way or resolve things or? Well, the characters are very much unresolved and the book is really about the relationships between them. It's not yeah. as if they start out in one point and they end up in another point where everything is yeah. perfectly sorted yeah. out in their lives. It's not quite like that. It's really about how they relate to one another in the aftermath of this, of this mm. crime. Yeah. We do find out who was behind all of it. Um, but the book is really an opportunity to look at mm. their relationships to one another. All right, the book is The Other Americans, Leila Lalami. Nice to talk to you. Nice talking to you, too.